So we've eaten 6B in this week's Loot the Universe destination and us having increased drop rates of certain legendaries, I've decided to bring you guys the best in my opinion farming spots for said destinations. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Loot Universe this week is on Eden 6 and on screen now we can see what specific types of legendaries drop where. Flood mob basing we see it's pistols and class mods. The anvil we have SMGs. Jacob's estate we have assault rifles and shields. Voracious canopy we have snipers. Amber mirror we have shotguns and grenade mods. And within black barrel cellars we have heavy weapons and artifacts. So let's get into what in my opinion are the best farming spots for each location. So starting with flood mob basing. Here out of all the spots I will state guys, is the one which doesn't really have a unique way of farming pistols and class mods in terms of a spot you can quickly load in and out of, besides the one I'm going to show you guys today. And it's kind of like a small route of decent leveled enemies which should be great enough for you. And once you've killed them after following the route, check that loot, quit out, load back up and the save point is right here, right next to it for you to rinse and repeat the process. So spawn into the drop pod section of Floodmore and follow the short route I take. Once you are here, this is where you will load out and load back in, right next to these vending machines. So simply run the route I take on screen now, kill all the enemies upon this short path, check the loot, quit out and load back in. It is that simple guys. And you will see yourself get a decent amount of legendaries as well. So next up on the list we have the anvil. Here you will see a ton of SMGs for absolute sure, if that's what you want to farm. Here we actually have two methods for you. The first one is pretty straightforward though, 
and that is play through the map making your way up to the Dragon Queen, killing all enemies in your path. As you can see on screen now, all these legendaries are from one run. Yes, enemies are of that high level, but they do drop a ton of loot. The second method is actually killing the Dragon Queen, who I'm making my way to on screen now running through all these legendaries. <laughs> Now once you are here, kill the Dragon Queen, then kill anything that spawns in right by her. You got a job to do. Then run back to this corner right here. Once here, just wait for those dragons to get glitched above you. Once that happens, just shoot them. If you've got a decent weapon like the yellow cake, you can kill them within one shot. And they can drop loads of loot, but at the same time, they can be quite stingy. The Dragon Queen though is a little more generous. Now this in my opinion is way easier to do, but running through the first part of the map, you will earn way way more. Once done with either method though guys, quit out and load back in. Dragon Queen has a save point right outside of her room to make it more efficient. Okay, so we're going to move on and next up we have Jacob's estate. Here we see assault rifles and shields. Now from the moment you spawn in here, enemies are at that higher level and can drop some decent loot. But in my opinion, the best spot here is up where that legendary loot tank is. This area is full of enemies which drop a ton of legendaries as you'll see on screen now. With a save point right nearby, quitting out loading back in, you will see yourself earn legendaries real quick. So load it into Jacob's estate, run up past the first lot of enemies, run to where that legendary loot tank is, and just kill the enemies here. Once it's done, quit out and load back in. Okay, so we're going to move on people and next up we have a voracious canopy. Here we see snipers dropping way more often and the best place to do this is no doubt the Jabba Magua. So follow the route I'm taking on screen now and bring yourself a trial weapon. Huh? <laughs> 
Itching for a fight. So once, yeah, these things will duplicate if you shoot them with trial or they're in the water. On screen now I am using an incendiary redistributor with that Zane trial sentinel anointment. So I'm killing them but at the same time they are duping by me hitting them with trial damage as well. And you'll see them duping and you'll see them drop a ton of legendaries at the same time. So yeah guys, have fun here. Okay, so next up we have Ambimir, and here we see increased shotgun and grenade mod drops. So upon Ambimir for me, the best farm are the 4 bullets. These you will find in a cave, so spawn into the rogue's hollow part of Ambimir. Follow the short path I take on screen now to this cave. When here, 4 billies will spawn. 9 times out of 10, they drop legendaries upon you killing them. So just kill them, check that loot, quit out and load back in. Rinse and repeat people, super super easy this one. Okay so next up and lastly we have black barrel sellers. Here we see heavy weapons and artifacts dropping and this is the place I will be farming this week. Now here the best place to farm is without doubt after you kill Aurelia. Now run through the map, kill her and progress on. You should give up! Then follow the short route I take, which is right of the statue right in front of you, which you can interact with. Once here kill all of the enemies and they will drop a ton of legendaries for you. Once you are done, quit out and load back in and you're literally right outside this spot again, ready for you to rinse and repeat. So have fun. And yeah guys, these are in my opinion the best spots to farm that loot the universe week 3 Eden 6 loot. I hope this helps you out. On that note guys, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.